Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome my games. Um, last time I was ranting about you and the state of the game and how poorly you managed uh, the game. But this time it's not only ranting, but it's, it's like uh, a huge thank you because you provided and you delivered, uh, you really delivered this time. And yeah. At first I said game performance is, is bad and the servers are unstable. Right now the servers are kind of more stable. I would say it's on the moderate side of a stable gameplay because there are many, still many bugs and many invisible things and units just glitching away and stuff like this. But uh, you improved performance overall of the game itself. So uh, on my side, client-wise, it's like I had 30 to 40 FPS over the last uh, months. And on, on the best situation, I barely stretched 50 or 55 FPS. Right now, I can tell it's about 50 to 60 FPS, 60 FPS on most of the maps. And on some less crowded maps, I have around yeah, 80 to 90 FPS, maybe sometimes 100 FPS. So the game is working better, but we have to keep in mind it's it's just one and uh, yeah, more than one and a half year ago since the game started and you're fixing many problems just right now. And I don't say it's it's super what you it's bad what you do. It is super. You're now you're trying hard. But it's kinda late and on the point when this video is recorded, it's too less, still too less. And I want to mention something I experienced in the last uh, few days uh, while I was playing the game. I had disappearing um, horses or cavalry units when they got up in, uh, for example, it was Agulia City uh, Siege. I was on the attack side. I had Rotten Rangers. And when I was uh, using my Rotten Rangers, to go from D point to end point, they hit the stair, the stairs over there, and they just disappeared. It's just like, yeah, um, when you see they come with me, they hit the stairways over here, and then they just died immediately. And I thought, okay, maybe there's invisible units, and yeah, invisible units or heroes are. A strong problem sometimes and I must say there are problems there are many problems which are bugs and just stupid little uh, lags and some invisible units players but those are things that are small and I want to say thank you for um, yeah, for acting this time for real. I mean, last times you said, yeah, yeah I'm, we are sorry, we are sorry, but this time you, you try to deliver what the community wanted. The servers are more stable, not even close to perfect, but more stable. We have better game performance and yeah, Territory War wasn't as bad as the last times. And right now, I hope you push forward and you keep going on improving the game for the Western world, like Europe and USA. But there's something more that I want to talk about. And this is your internet, internet security. And... I got messaged uh, two days ago on the 6th of April and it was uh, someone who just said no name 
so I must call him anonymous or just a random guy don't know what his name was and he messaged me on uh, discord and said yeah you have time I mean he's, he's from German but I, I will translate and he said something like yeah are you around do you have time right now and I said yeah sure what, what's what's going on because maybe some some people want something uh, from me like do you have some tips for me or blah 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 about the game and he said uh, don't get scared by a some bad news for uh, server improvements or problems why you can't log in and he just wanted to provide me some informations and I had to swear to him that I will delete his contacts and uh, won't tell his name I don't know what I should say because he he was had no name and he didn't tell me his name, so I couldn't say who he is. But what he showed to me was uh, rather suspicious. But yeah, he opened uh, the Pandora's box. And I have some uh, yeah, I have some pictures for you. And this is for once this picture maybe you notice know it's the launcher just a, a normal congress blade game launcher and like i said he was a, a he's an enthusiast and a fan of the game but he's also a, a student and he's learning some basics about um ddosing hacking and something like this so he is um uh, i don't remember what his uh study is, is about but I think it's something like internet uh, connectivities or something like this so uh, he's learning about internet and then he he showed to me what he can do and he said he's a beginner the, the program he wrote didn't took him so much long it was like he said 15 20 minutes to wrote the program and here's the second picture. This is the content, uh, the, the My Games website. Because I can't show you anymore because all the proofs he uh, sent to me, I, I can't use them because this is a crime. In it, this would be an internet crime, and I'm not supporting crime. But he didn't. He he hasn't done anything bad. He just wanted to mention, be careful, those things can happen. And my games, I'm really sorry that this can happen. But uh, like I said, he opened the box of Pandora. And what he showed to me was not even kind of irritating. It was like, oh my God, if someone with a few knowledge of this, can do so much harm to your company and the game itself. What can a real hacker do to you? And uh, the first picture I, I took was when he said, okay, try to enter the, the website. I tried to enter the website and this was everything I got. And after a few minutes and a few refreshes, this was the last time I tried. Bad gateway and so, for example, he DDoSed your website because your uh, your DDoS security is laughable. He said it's not existing at all. Uh, he tried to uh, yeah show to me how it's work, and I said no, sorry, I don't want to know about it because if I if I knew what you're doing, I'm kind of uh, part of this crime. So I said. I won't say anything, but I will share this information. And then he said, try to log in. And the first I got as information was this clean page for the launcher. And after a few tries, 
I couldn't even log in. So now we have a few things to discuss. What's the problem with my games and their poor security? And what does it mean for us, the player base? Um, he showed me that he can uh, DDoS people and not only uh, all the people, but specialized. You can focus with DDoSing uh, a house, a, a, a alliance, or even a whole server. To, to, so they can't just log in or have problems in game. So you can betray or cheat, if I say this correctly, in territory war by just DDoSing some specific gamers. Just um, let's make an example. Um, uh, let's say for Inquisition, they hold uh, two of these thieves. And if we say, yay, we want to go for Inquisition this next time, then a really skilled hacker can just <laughs> keep those people disconnected from the server so they can't defend. Or even the whole alliance can be disconnected so they don't have any chance of surviving this. And this is bad. This is really, really bad news. And the next problem is, uh, what is the worst... Uh, I try to, uh, to repeat what he talked to me. And he said, the weakest point of your server structure is your website. And your website is like an open door. Okay, and he could uh, he could get informations easily if he wanted, and if he had more time, he I'm sure he could prevented me some data of even your employees or other players. But if he is DDoSing your site, he can DDoS as well your log the login servers and everything else. So this. This is a huge security flaw. Just to mention, this is just someone who is doing, he was doing this because he was curious what the security is of those things. And he just tested it and he found out, okay, there is nothing. There is really, really nothing that keep us safe. And this is the time when I have to say again, please, we want to make this game like the community uh, wrote on uh, the Discord, on Reddit as well. We, the community, want nothing special from you. But please don't go uh, as cheap as possible and yeah, less efforts for most profit. But please go like, yeah, a balance so you have. You can make cash from the game, but uh, we want to have decent servers, decent security, and really, really, please get the security fixed as, at first, because we can't cheat in game. That's that's super, but if I know that some random people can just DDoS your site and you can't log in during territory war and he said and this is um, what he said to me um, around one one and a half week ago you said ah we have server problems and uh, we are working on it it was him trying his yeah just the small program he wrote and he beat down your whole server system and you had these problems and even your uh, managers uh, said on um, Discord, we have server problems, please uh, yeah, don't get uh, too set up and yeah, just give us some time and we'll fix this. You, you couldn't do anything. He DDoSed you and when you said you, you fixed the problem, he just stopped it. And this was when I, I thought about 
holy shit. This is serious, serious trouble. Because, like I said, he's just one that is studying these things. If this is someone who really knows what he's doing, what would you think will happen? I can tell you what will happen. There will be more people who will try to infiltrate your system, um, keep data as hostage, or even steal the data from you. And if they steal data, they can force you to get the money to get the data back, or you just say, we are done. So please, my games. I know you're, you're working hard this time to make the, the game this time great and to fulfill all the demands that the people have. And I hope this will work out in the future, but please work on security as well. Not those, uh, uh, yeah, don't do it like uh, easy force and just high reward, don't do this. Just do it properly or just give up. Because if you go in and do always uh, just the minimum uh, for the maximum profit, you can't, uh, you can't stay on the market. Because at some point, there's someone in the world who thinks the same like me it is saying we have to to force you to something and he said ah, I don't care what what you what you think what you're doing and I will prove that you don't have a chance and then this some of the people come they will hack you they would steal something about us maybe our uh, precious data that we try to prevent like our bank accounts or something like this Paypal accounts that maybe you have saved or something else. And if they are gone, how will you save us? How will you secure that our data are not uh, put in danger? So please keep our data safe. Keep your server systems safe. Invest in more security. And please, and this is when I say please, I'm proud that you recently worked on the, on the demands of the people. Please work with us for the future together. And furthermore, we don't hate you because right now you're trying to deliver. We know the, the game has a, a unique engine and it's a, yeah, maybe engine bugs or something like this. But performance wise, it's server side mostly and I hope this the server problems won't come back and yeah I can't say anything more and if you try to uh, to get anything from me like informations who this guy was or anything I can't tell you anything because I refused to know who he is and he refused to tell me who he is so he just showed me what he can and it was just him warning me to make a video about this so you can react. So you can, yeah, you just can react to it without a bigger harm or bigger damage that was dealt to you. So I hope you will react and yeah, I'm sorry that we had to part away because I'm not the one who can be uh, uh, silenced or censored about things in the game or really poor things that are happening around the game. Like I said, I love this game. And every time someone is coming up with information, and those are informations that maybe it's someone that was in your own ranks. I don't know. But every information that I get will go on public so you should know what's going on and yeah i hope this won't happen again and you will work on the internet security so yeah this won't happen again i wish you good luck 
by fixing those problems and yeah stay safe and goodbye